Silvermoon City, one of the most beautiful and amazing major cities in World of Warcraft that no one really ever goes to. That's mainly because you cannot fly in it. Well today we're going to be uncrafting the city and you'll see exactly why flying is not allowed. In this video you will discover how to explore the out of bounds area using a demon hunter and you will see what the entire city looks like using an exploration technique that I've sworn to secrecy not to explain. So I won't be explaining how to obtain the views I do but just know that it can actually be done in a live server. You will then finally see the mysterious black box that's underneath the city and what's inside of it. While this is a well known glitch that plenty of explorers have covered on their channel, I wanted to cover this amazing area as well as it is one of the areas that inspired me to start this channel. If you like this video, then be sure to glide into the unknown sea of likes. If you want to subscribe to see more content coming out like this, I try to post frequently, at least once a week, hopefully, not always, then subscribing always is. A paltry task. Let's jump in and do a bit of exploring without the super secret method of exploring. Anyone can do this as long as you have a demon hunter. Okay, so if you actually go to these mountains behind Silvermoon City, you can find these mountains here that are very easily climbed using a demon hunter. So really all you need to do is get to the top of this uh, mountain right here. This is on the old part of the city, of course, and then you could just jump to this ledge right here. And that, <laughs> that was really it. I mean, now you're pretty much on the walls and you can get this amazing view of the old side of, or the ruins of Silvermoon over here. So I thought that was really, really cool, how it's really simple, really easy to do. So pretty much anyone that has any skill at all with a demon hunter can do this. I'm pretty sure that most classes could probably get up here using a jump technique or something, because really it wasn't hard at all. Now you already start seeing some weird textures. You can tell Blizzard used a lot of shortcuts when they were making Silvermoon City. From what I've seen in this area and from what I've explored myself, it looks like Silvermoon City was 100% designed as if you were on the ground looking upwards. And so there's not a lot of roofs or anything like that. But thankfully, there are a lot of solid areas that you can jump. You just have to be very careful not to fall. There are plenty of pitfalls here, and you will fall if you're not careful. So the first thing I do is I try to go over towards Silvermoon City. And it's pretty simple enough. You just, you know, crawl over here. And then I uh, try to make my way around, you know, some of these areas. Try to check out the scenery. Really kind of cool. There's a floating room there. Uh, I thought that was really strange. Then I realized, and this is actually the tower that like Lorthamar is at and all that stuff, so that's like the, I guess you could call it the castle. I decided that it was a good idea to jump in this little area. It was not. It was, it was not a good idea. I quickly became trapped and those eyes are way creepier when they're staring directly down at you. It doesn't look right. So yeah, if you're exploring this area, do not jump in this part, because you, you will get stuck. I tried Door of Shadows. Nothing really seemed to work, so definitely avoid this area. Okay, so I went back over here, kind of got to where we were, where we left off in the previous exploration, and now I, now I can just continue on seeing what I could explore. I jumped down to this lower level here because I thought maybe I could make a lot of progress here, and you, you could definitely see some really crazy looking textures here. I'm sure that there are people who have given out guides for exactly the perfect path to get to like the black box and all that. I, I'm not sure. I was so new with this area that I actually made a mistake here and I fell again to an even lower area. Okay, see that, this right there, that, um, that just shows that you do have to be very careful in this exploration. I just jumped through that and I missed. And also there's a chair down here. Now, right here, I stopped and took a look at this amazing palace. I like to do that when I'm exploring, to just sit and take a good look at whatever it is I'm, I'm exploring, because it truly is incredible that these areas are able to be traversed. Now, at this point, I didn't realize it, but where that chair was, the black box is actually right over there, too. I guess in this particular exploration, I did not see the black box, or else I probably would have just jumped straight down there. But anyway, I actually instead tried to go along the dead scar, try to, you know, climb over this way. Uh... 
Okay, so now we are above the dead scar, and you can see all of the destruction out here. It looks really cool. Now, normally in game, you would not be able to see this. Not in this much detail. Now, obviously, you can, like, you know, look into the dead scar, but you would not be able to walk through it or walk across it or anything, or anything like that. So I thought that this was a pretty unique thing that I should include in the video. It just goes to show that how close the Falcon Wing Square and Silver Moon City truly are. As you can see that we're looking down at Falcon Wing Square now. This is a view that you would normally never be able to get, so I do like showing this stuff off. Right here, we can get a look underneath the wall. You can see some pretty large gaps in between textures. So, once again, watch your step. If you want to do this glitch, just watch your step or this exploration. Okay, right here, this is one of the fatal mistakes I made. I fell through this building and uh, again, there are people who have like, I don't know if they have guides, but I know that there are people who know the exact layout of Silver Moon City. I didn't and so I fell right there through a building. That's okay, we still get this amazing view of the Dead Scar and I decided at this point, why don't I just explore it? I mean, there's could be something out here and so you can see some scourge wagons pretty typical dead scar stuff you will notice that there's actually a little tiny like balcony here or not balcony but patio and there's some blood elf catapults and it's really well designed which is kind of strange for an area that no one would ever be able to see you can see some wagons out here um there's all kinds of little knickknacks out out in this area which it, again no one is supposed to see this area so it's really interesting that it's fully textured fully designed it's almost like they were maybe gonna put something in here but decided not to at the end and uh at the back of the dead scar there's a giant door which would then lead to the isle of cult the nas or a port or something i'm not exactly sure i did play warcraft 3 but it's been a while I tried my best to get back up to the main exploration, it didn't work out so well, so I had to start all over again. Now one thing I did note here is that you can get close to this door here and you can actually see inside of it and it looks like a normal transition of, you know, in Silverman City they have that, you know, Kelt Thas statue or whatever. It looks just like that. I thought that was interesting because this door isn't like completely textured in, so uh, I did try to like get past it but it had no avail in doing so. That's all of note in the Dead Scar. That's actually it for all the explorations with the regular jumping around and stuff. Now we're going to try a little something different. And I am not going to explain how I did this. I'm just going to show you what I discovered. And now you get this view right here. You can see the black box clearly from this angle. Whereas before I couldn't see it at all. And now we're just gonna kinda, you know, explore the city. We'll get to the black box eventually. Trust me on that. Don't even ask how I'm flying. I will not tell you. Yeah, so this view right here is a really good view of Murder Row. Now, normally you wouldn't be able to get this view, but I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this is what one of the doorways looks like whenever you're you can you're above it looks kind of strange and uh, you can see a bunch of surrounding area as well so right below me here you'll see the elite torn chieftains if you didn't know, they're actually in the city, and I don't think they play any songs or anything, but you can like do like slash cheer at them and they'll cheer back and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, they actually do exist in game in Silver Moon City. It's it's really interesting that the, they put them here. So if you look right here, we're on top of one of the walls and there's just like a huge section of the ceiling that's gone. Kind of interesting. And uh, there's actually a room up here. It's a completely empty room, and I have no idea why it's here. I guess maybe it's just for decoration, but you probably would never know that there's a room up there if you're looking at it from the ground. And here's a section of Silver Moon City that you would never be able to see from above. It's This is the only way you'd ever be able to see it. So I thought that this was really cool. I wanted to include that. It does just seem to be a giant empty space. There's nothing crazy. I mean, if you're on the other side of the wall, you would just see the wall. And... If you're in the city, of course, you would still just see the wall, but there's also like, you know, buildings and stuff along along it. Like this I thought was really cool. There's 
you know, this is directly above. I'm not sure what building this is exactly. And uh, you're, you're seeing the backside of these rooms and stuff. They all look really, really strange. Okay, so right here you can actually see the there's these like mages or whatever casting a spell to a box. I can't remember if you can get in that room. If you can, let me know. I'm pretty sure you can. I think there's like a quest on there or something. I don't remember. Continuing on, you get a really good view of the city itself or parts of the city that you normally don't get a good look at. But I decided I want a better look at the city and I got one. Look at this. This is incredible. Like the city is actually one of the most beautiful things in World of Warcraft. I, I don't have words for this. I, I'm actually, you know, I'm not recording this as I'm exploring. I'm, I'm just doing this like kind of post, but I have no words for this. Here's that crystal inside of the the palace, and here's an overview of the dead scar again, just from a higher vantage point. Looks really incredible. Now, if I look behind Silvermoon, you can actually see something in the very far distance. That is actually the Isle of Quelled Nas. Now, I know for sure that you can actually get over to the Isle of Quelled Nas, but it's very difficult. You you need to use certain techniques that will get you past the fatigue without dying. Arkvelder has some vil some videos against that. I think it was Arkvelder. I'm not entirely sure. But he explained how to do that. I want to make a short about that. But I looked back at my recording and I didn't have the full video. I only had where I actually crossed the barrier. And so it's not very helpful in this case. But yes, you can actually get to the Isle of Pildenas from Eversong Woods. Okay, so this view right here is just from the back of the city. Yeah, so this view is just coming in from the back of the city. I, I've never noticed like this tower here. Or I didn't realize how tall it was, so I actually wouldn't... It looks really strange up from up here though. Now we can get a good look at the black box as well and that random chair that's floating. Really strange. And the first time I decided to uh, well, I just popped into that tower, which is quite strange. But the first time I tried to get into the black box, I actually wanted to try to hit that chair first, after I looked through all these buildings, of course. So here's my attempt at trying to land on the chair. I actually missed the chair and landed inside of this building. Now if you look in this building there's actually not a chair in here. So the chair is just outside of that room which is quite strange which means that it's an out of bounds chair. I've not seen that in anyone else's video. It's possible that it was added. I don't know. Now on my final run I actually decided to go to the black box and this is that right here. Here we are. We are on the black box, the infamous black box of Silvermoon City. This is what it looks like. It's actually quite massive. So I wanted to see if like casting spells on it or anything did anything weird, but it doesn't seem like anything weird happens when you do that. Now I wanted to do a little something different than I've seen in other videos. I wanted to see what was inside of the black box. I, I've seen one video where they actually flew through it, but they were using like a camera and there was nothing in there, which, I mean, that's that's good, but there still could be something in there if you're just floating around with the camera. And so I decided to try and use Door of Shadows inside of the box. Now, this would at least allow me to clip into it to see what's in there. And so that's exactly what I did. And then I, I found a way to use Door of Shadows right on the edge there. Boom! It's nothing. There's nothing inside of the box at all. Which makes it even more mysterious. It's just a random black box with nothing inside of it.
and it's quite a long fall. So that is it for today's video. Once again, if you liked the video, you can hit that button to show me that you liked it. And if you want to see more explorations like this, once again, just subscribe. It's as simple as that. I have videos. I try to get them out at least once a week. I'm very busy. I have a puppy. I am married. And we have a baby on the way. So, you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. It should be out next week. I'll see you guys next week in another Uncrafty.